A new space race is brewing in corporate America. SpaceX is scheduled to launch its 16th cargo supply mission to the International Space Station later today. It wants to become the first company to carry astronauts to the station as soon as next summer. But so does Boeing. Both companies will operate competing space taxis for NASA, ending seven years of relying on Russia for rides to space. Mark Strassman met two astronauts who will fly for the rival companies in an out-of-this-world game of Capture the Flag. And liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis. When the space shuttle roared toward the sky for the last time, it carried a special payload a small American flag. The crew is intending to leave that flag on board the International Space Station. And 250 miles above Earth, Shuttle Commander Chris Ferguson led the ceremony. This flag represents not just a symbol of our national pride and honor, but in this particular case, it represents a goal. The next this flag astronaut that launched from American soil that docked to the space station would get to bring the flag home. Did you ever think when you left the flag that the person who might pick it up could be you? Absolutely not. I was absolutely certain that I was never going back to space again. You ready? But Ferguson will ride a rocket again. This time as a corporate astronaut for Boeing. We're ready to take America back into space. I think the country has been missing something, but they don't know they've been missing it. It's been so long. Now it's inside of a year, and uh, it is real. At Boeing's assembly plant in Florida, Ferguson showed us the spacecraft that he helped design, the Starliner. I want to get the seats in there. I want to get the floor closed out. When it's ready, this capsule will carry Ferguson and NASA astronauts Nicole Mann and Eric Bowe on its first trip into orbit, flying there autonomously, where it will dock with a space station. Ferguson could recover the same flag he left there seven years ago. What would that be like? I think it'll be anticlimactic. I think it'll be largely symbolic in nature. Oh, come on. Okay, it'll be cool. Very cool. But SpaceX, Boeing's competitor, could beat him to it. NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley will be the first to fly SpaceX's sleek new ship called Crew Dragon. We will dock the commercial crew vehicles to the front of the space station, just like we did with shuttle. We met Hurley at the Johnson Space Center in Houston at NASA's training mock-up of the space station. We'd be floating, which is a lot more fun. That would be more fun. Hurley knows about the flag up there because he flew it there. He piloted the last shuttle flight. And this hatch was closed and we left the flag right up there. I didn't think I was going to fly again, let alone be potentially the guy that goes up and gets it. I mean, it's, I still sometimes have a hard time believing it. It's sort of ironic, I guess, how this all played out. Nobody ever really saw this coming. So how important is it for you and not Doug Hurley with SpaceX to grab that flag? I would never admit it to him, but I would say it's very important to me. <laughs> he knows it too. I have no problem with a little healthy competition. It makes you better and it makes him better and it makes both companies better. And in the end, who benefits? the country. You know, we get redundant access to space. In the end, it doesn't really matter who gets the flag. It matters that somebody gets it. Absolutely. And they come back. Two astronauts who closed the last chapter of American spaceflight now find themselves competing to open the next one. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman at the Kennedy Space Center. Mm, a race to the final frontier. Yes. Competition is always good, but it's really good when you win. You say, yes, it's good. Whoever wins, it's okay. You always want to win. And you, you, won't be, that. you won't be competing with anybody to get the first ride on that taxi. <laughs> nope, sir. I'll be cheering you on, though, John. Cheering you I'm on. I'm riding shotgun. <laughs>